Excitement doesn't even come close. Let's have a look what snail is in this box. Welcome back to the channel. This week's video is going to be on the discovery. There's lots of things that have happened since the first video that we uploaded. I'm going to go through them things, show you what we've done, and then there's lots of other things that need to be done. One of the things that I'm going to be doing first and foremost is building the exhaust manifold. This car's gone through lots of different turbos because we use it for development. I finally got a goal and something that I want to go to which I'll show you. The plan of attack is build the manifold, get it running, get it through its MOT, there's some wiring to sort out on the back end and various other bits and pieces and then go from there. I've got an exhaust valve that I want to do, we've done exhaust valves for lots of customers cars and I want to put one on this to sort of show you how they work and, and what it is and yeah there's there's just loads of really good stuff that we're going to do and i'll show you around the car now where we as you can see there's work that's progressing there's lots of things that are to do we hadn't built the tray on the last video the canopy was just sat on the top we were getting some dimensions to build it the tray is now built i'll go into details about that in the future but to give you a quick skip round two side boxes rear drawer in here side box here and a nice feature that we did I mean, two years ago we now can add drawers into the boxes that we built so just to give you a quick quick skip around what we've got that's it uh, i said about the interior i said last time i was going to put some leather seats in the leather seats are now in the back's all completely carpeted out so the interior has come along this obviously you can see the center console is missing there's a center console to build there's a different gearbox in it now and various other bits and pieces but yet again i'll go into that in detail in the next video or if you want some more details about it ask me and i'll do it the main concentration for today is i want to get on with the exhaust manifold so you can see under the engine bay totally covered in dust needs a real tidy up but we'll get to that Header tank's now done, follows the shape of the body absolutely perfectly. Breather, catch can system, all sorted. I can go into some details about that if you want to. Let me know, drop some comments, I'll do that. Air intake, a couple of test fittings here, need tidying up. Air intake, sealed box, all done and dusted. So you can see where there should be a rather large snail that is no large snail. EGT probe just hanging down there, various bits and pieces. So, first things first, turbo manifold, turbo titanium downpipe joining onto the rest of the system. But we're on a bit of titanium at the top. I think that'll look quite trick. This is rigged up because I've got a problem with the heater matrix. Don't worry about that. I'm going to sort it. Everything's going to get sorted. But first things first, we need to do the turbo manifold. We're at the welding bench, we've got all the parts, ready to build the turbo manifold. Let's go through what we've got. So here we have the jig to make the manifold. T3 billet merge collector, that bolts onto here. It gives me my distance, sets the turbo in the correct location. And then I build my primaries from each cylinder to this. This is a oval trial transition. Actually, I'll show you on this one. So this is oval to round, over 30 mil, and that is perfect fitment for the head. And then our schedule bends, just nicely located the top of here. This is something new that I've designed. Trying to get a little bit of material out of it, and more than anything, aesthetically pleasing. It works exactly the same as this. It's obviously more costly than this, but ultimately it looks cool as. Ice Engine Works modeling kit. These are clipped together mock-ups to make our primaries. 
the primaries are made using the plastic, cost effective, really quickly, I can make a complete manifold in such a short space of time. Then once I've done that, I take them apart piece by piece and make my primaries in steel. What do you reckon? We're done, aren't we? We're not done, but we're definitely a lot further on. So primaries are now all together. This is the mock-up as said, ice engine works, fantastic bit of kit, can't recommend them enough. We're now on to the point where we cut all the pieces up. So I'll take these apart one bit at a time. So here you can see I've wrote down 75 degree angle, 75 degree angle, 30. So I'll cut them first using my cutting fixture. So here you can now see Plastic's gone, primaries are now made in stainless, ready for a full weld. I'll get them on the positioner, weld them up, and then we'll get on to the next bit. Before I fully weld these, I'll just show you something. So when that clips into this end, so that's nicely clipped in there, you can see how it's ever so slightly too long. The reason for that is, when the welding process takes place, this will actually shrink in the centre. Once it's shrunk, it'll then nicely line up at that end. Hey, bear. Bear. So you can see this one's now nicely welded. I'll show you the shrinkage I'm talking about. So I'm lock that into there. Lift that up, now you can see that's just moved across. That fits absolutely perfect. Primary is now all welded up, swap the exhaust flanges, tack in place, stick it on the purge bar, next step here we come. Yes, that's the primaries now all done, tacked together. The worst bits of weld that I can't get to are done around the back side. I'll then stick it on the purge block, do the rest of the welding on there, and then weld all of these to the head flange. Lovely job. And there we have it, the exhaust manifold, all by the wastegate position, fully complete. So the next thing to do is test fit this inside the car, figure out where the wastegate's gonna go and weld it on. Using bond, hey? The next job is wastegate onto here, trial fit in the engine. I've actually just trial fit it anyway, skipped a step for you, black marks, tack it in place and then we'll have a look what it looks like. Right, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I really enjoy doing stainless steel welding so it's always nice to be, be doing something that you enjoy. I'm pretty sure that I covered everything. If I didn't cover something that you wanted to see, drop a comment below and I'll look into it. I want to say a big thumbs up to all the new subscribers. A lot of local companies are following us, so really appreciate that. We like to work with local companies and local people, as well as people around the world. So, yeah, massive thanks for that. If you've liked what we're doing, 
Um, click like, subscribe, you know how it works. Next week, the plan of attack is to get to fit in the manifold. It's not. It's pretty much finished besides the fact that the wastegate needs welding. Nothing major. But yeah, in, for all intents and purposes, the manifold is finished. The turbo, I haven't told you what turbo I'm using. What turbo am I going to be using? Now there's a question. That'll be revealed in next week's episode, so you've got to tune in to watch that. What I would like you to do though, some comments down below and let me know what turbo you think I'm going to be using. So next week, tune in to see that and I'll show you the reveal of what turbo I'm using. Yet again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. We're going to finish this exhaust then, or we're going to have a dance, hey? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, 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 your singing's got worse.